Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, thank you for entering this uh, conversation with me tonight. Uh, my name's Ian Stewart. I'm the Deputy Commissioner for Regional Operations of the Queensland Police Service. I'm also, uh, again, newly appointed as the State Disaster Coordinator. Uh, that appointment took place this afternoon, and it's in response to two weather events which we have been advised could affect uh, Queensland during the next week. Uh, the first of these is Tropical Cyclone Anthony, which has reformed in the Coral Sea and is now heading towards the Queensland coast. The advice we've been given in relation to this cyclone is that it is likely uh, to uh, increase in intensity over the next couple of days crossing the coast. At the moment, the best estimate of that would be the early hours of Sunday morning. Uh, I apologise, the early hours of Monday morning but could be as early as Sunday afternoon. Uh, the target area uh, that is presently uh, forecast for that event is somewhere between uh, Cairns and uh, Bowen, as I understand it. Um, part of my role is to assist um, all of the areas and emergency services in those areas to prepare themselves and their communities for the impact of, of that initial event. Um, this will include, obviously, cyclonic winds, uh, possibly localised flooding and certainly significant rain. Uh, we know already that the area is quite saturated uh, from the uh, rain events over the past month. Um, so this will have uh, a, a, uh, certainly a significant impact on the area if it strikes land um, in the next couple of days. We are meeting as, as part of the State Disaster Management Group and the State Disaster Coordination Group um, over the next two days to ensure that um, all preparations that can be taken um, are being taken in readiness for uh, that event. The second um, event that we are being advised may occur later next week and it is possibly as late as next Thursday as Friday. Um, is a further cyclonic event um, which is emanating from a uh, pressure system which is currently over the Fiji area. Um, the modelling for that event has indicated that it may form into a cyclone and may ultimately uh, move towards the Australian and in particular the Queensland area. Obviously this is some, some time away but we are advised that if this were to occur, occur um, the name of that cyclone would be Cyclone Yasi, and uh, that system currently is quite powerful and large already. Um, so we are concerned that Queensland may be impacted by these two weather events uh, only days apart. Obviously, again, that whilst the preparations are the same for both events, uh, there are significant issues in terms of making sure that people are aware of the, uh, their evacuation areas, are aware of the localised evacuation plans put in place by local government and uh, district disaster groups uh, in their area. And that information is readily available through local government uh, in their area where they live. I would encourage everyone to become familiar with evacuation plans. Um, I would encourage everyone to take notice of uh, Bureau of Meteorology warnings um, and certainly advice from your local emergency services or in fact from the state emergency services group. Um, securing articles around your home, moving items to uh, certainly household items to more safe areas is critical so that we can lessen the impact of these events should they occur in our state. Whilst we don't wish to uh, panic anyone in relation to this. I would also suggest that people in the northern parts of the state do ensure that they have stocks of, of essential items, including batteries, um, certainly uh, torches, radios, and particularly radios which aren't impacted by uh, electricity uh, cuts in their area. Um, also uh, have supplies of uh, drinking water and also uh, necessities of, for foodstuffs. There is no need to panic buy, um, but certainly people should ensure that they have two or three days supply um, at their, at their uh, homes and at their residences should they uh, need to utilise them. Obviously, the critical factors over the next few days 
will be uh, listening to the warnings and hearing the updates. I am hopeful that, that neither of these events will have a major impact on our, on our uh, state, but obviously our job is to plan for the worst and hope for the best. Um, and that is why we have stood up um, the State Disaster Management Group today. And that is also why um, I have again been appointed as the State Disaster Coordinator. Thank you for listening. Um, and I will provide regular updates over the next few days on any information which I think is relevant to this event. Thank you.